chimney. Love those wheels. And the tire is so aggressive. The camper kit. R33 Beautiful color <laughs> Garage active Check the seats Carbon seats Really cool. Here we've got a midnight midnight purple carbon R32, also with the carbon seats. Check. Check the size of that turbo. That's insane. Really insane. <laughs> Just over here. And another AE eighty six. So this is a TM work stall. So this one at eleven. Check the seats. Really cool. Samurai helmet inside as well. It's really neat. Very different. Huge screen. We've got a Yaris. We're now at the Vertex stall. Nice wheels. I think it's a Lexus LC. So aggressive. White body. Really neat. For the fuel in there. And here we've got Daihatsu with a cool pen here. So this was in the Rally Japan. And then you've got the convertible. 20th anniversary. High jet jumbo extended. <laughs> you can see the back pulls out from the rest. Good for going camping and things like that. 
We've got another GR Yaris over here. Baler Nastol. Got auto back to as well. Uh, will we go there now? I think so. GR86. Got a couple here. I think there might actually be three. So this is my point in my previous video. BRZ GR86, exactly the same car, but how many GR86s have we seen already? And we haven't seen one street BRZ. The only BRZ we've seen is the Super GT car. And I don't get it. I don't get it. If I was to buy one of these, I would get the BRZ because there's just not as many going around with the BRZ badging. WRX STI. when we've got the Lambo doors. This is the older version. Nice. I like the bumper. I'm just not sure about how the exhaust sits there. Check the doors. Really insane. Some carbon trim in there. <laughs> and we've got M speed here. RAV4 <laughs> Nothing much there Just three different styles of the RAV4 Actually that was not M-Speed, it's a Toyota stall m speeds the next one, but we will get there shortly. And guess what? Another GR86. I don't know if this is a marketing thing that Subaru just didn't market as well as Toyota or just Toyota brand is just so much more popular. So just you just don't see the BRZ very often. I'm not sure if that's just a Japan thing or if it's the same in the US or the UK. Would be interesting to know. So this one has got a few carbon add-on and the whole cage. Carbon doors. Carbon trunk. Really neat. That's 
more supercars here. Ferrari Roma. See, if I did not see that sign, I would have had no idea what this Ferrari was. Everyone knows what this is, though. I love the colour scheme. First time I've actually seen the STO. Really cool. Shmi 150. This is a better colour scheme than yours. Richard Hammond would say that. Shmi's is also really cool. I, I like this. The blue and the orange goes well. And what do we have here? It's the first NSX we've seen today. I'm not expecting to see that many more, but yeah, that is really aggressive. And look what I've done to the GR86. See, I'm not sure if I like that. I just something doesn't do it for me. Yeah. That kit for me is not for my liking. On the NSX though, different story. This is really really aggressive and I really like this. So moving over to Honda and here we've got the ZRV Mugen concept. What a beautiful color this is. Here we've got the Honda Civic. Sorry. That blue looks very similar to the Syrian blue on the Nissan Z. Beautiful colour. <laughs> And in the center here, we have the Type R Super GT car. So this is the first time I've seen this one because it was just unveiled yesterday. So I've seen the Super GT car in person before I've actually seen the road car. I've only seen the road car online. But I'm sure you'll see one here. The crazy aero as you would expect in a Super GT car. And here is the also a race car but a little closer to the road version than this <laughs> so, and we've got the super gt nsx here seen that last year So this is the challenge car.
R and D challenge. Look at this NSX. Couple of bikes here. Neat. So here we've got the Honda Fit. And one. And here we go. Still not a bog standard one. It's got the Mugen parts. But I think this is as close as we're going to get to the standard Car. I'm not sure about the exhaust, that single exit there. I think that would need to be changed. All the carbon trim. Really cool. Some dry carbon interior parts. Not sure I would fit inside that seat. Mugen concept. So basically, the standard car with Mugen parts slapped on it. I like the spoiler. See, for me, I'm a big fan of the previous version. I like the aggressive look. One of my favorite cars. Certainly, I would say it's probably my favorite Type R is the previous version. Now, they, they say this drives better in every single way, and it probably will. It's a newer car. But look-wise, I just prefer the aggressive previous version so we've got a super formula we've seen the Toyota one now we've got the Honda and another one they're about to show us a wheel change are they? Pretty cool. Don't know much about the Super Formula. I wonder how these would perform compared to the Formula One. I'm sure the Formula One cars would destroy them, but we'd be interested to know how powerful they are. We've got a Dunlop st stall here. couple of minis inside that's pretty cool check this chimney Austin Cooper Just at any time I see this, I just think Mr. Bean. You yes, don't see many of these at the car shows like this. It's quite nice. Well, I think. EK Civic. Really cool. 
And here we have Supra. I think is this the first one we've seen today? We've seen the Super GT car, I think. Actually, I don't think we have. I was expecting to see more Nissan Zs actually. Maybe that will come in the next stalls or next halls. This is hall four now. So we've did from eight down to four. So I guess we've got three more to go. Okay, so what do we have over here? Oh my god. Is it a GR86? Well, technically no, because it's the old version. But it is a Toyota. the R34 Okubo factory and you've got this one here as well no carbon trim no over fenders midnight purple really stunning it's the light shining on it there set tune fenders front end actually Good thing about Osaka Auto Messi last year was foreigners were still not allowed in the country so there wasn't that many people there and you were able to get good views of all the cars here of course it's very different it's very busy extremely busy blue underglow again Z-Tune A little bit of carbon trim there. Check the interior. Custom seats. It's really nice. All the carbon inside. Nissan Z slammed to the ground very similar style spoiler to what is on the S14 not sure it's for me to be honest only place you're going to see one is in a car show because they're just not releasing them not building them now this is really cool SDI that's nuts don't see many of these going around I think it's the Type R.
Beautiful. Had two of these before, but mine's had back doors, both of them. I had a WRX and then later I got an STI. One of the regrets I've got is releasing or letting go that STI. Another Toyota 86. D1 drifting. <coughs> so we're now getting into all the drift cars. Wide body S13. Maybe before we finish, we might see a VRZ. We've got a Lexus. IS 500. That's quite neat. Carbon film on the back windows. Huge filter there. <laughs> Two JC set up there. Check that Grady intakes there. Manifold. It's nuts. The front end of this is just huge. Let's have a look at the seats. Again, the, the men taking the photos of the women. Always old guys. Very cool. Driver suits there for sale. And here, what do we have here? Uh, Super GT. So I said earlier, I couldn't remember if we had seen the Super GT Super or not, but now we have. I think the Nissan Z Super GT car is also here, but we haven't seen Nissan yet, so it must be in the next haul. These are quite cool as well. For the Delica and these. Something like this I would go for, I think. Not sure if it's going to be black, but we'll see. These guys have a hard time. So So we've got GR86 here, and then the Toyota 86 here. Same kit, same color, sorry. We're looking at the front ends. So the old version, new version, the new version front end and the rear end actually is a lot cleaner. 
seen these seats last year in Osaka Otemese on a Beetle. The Beetle design of the, the car was a pair of jeans. So that was the livery of the car and that was the seats, which of course will match a pair of jeans. But this car also has it. Liberty Walk kit. Spoiler, it's really cool. And I love these seats. These are really, really nice seats. It's really nice. And the high ace there. What else do we have over here? We have cool. They're going to have quite a few pretty cool cars, I would assume. They did in Osaka last year. They had GTR. They, ha they actually had a BRZ. So let's see if we can see our first BRZ. Non Super GT car. Tesla there. So last year in Osaka the theme was all a blue color on all the cars. This year it's white. So Alphard, Stepwagon and Nissan Z. Second one we've seen. It's a different colour though, it's been sprayed, but it's not a standard colour. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I haven't that's the second Z we've seen and I think the standard version looks better. So, nothing I've seen yet on the aftermarket that improves on the standard road car. And then we've got the Lexus LC. Same colour scheme, same paint. So these again are a beautiful car standard and I'm not sure if this improves on the standard car. I like the back end actually. Side I'm not too keen on and I think the front is better on the standard car. This is cool. Now this one, I think, is an improvement on the standard car. But, they haven't got their BRZ. So we're still searching for a BRZ. That's our goal of this video. Finding a road BRZ. Yeah, I do. The back end of this is really, really nice. Big meaty exhaust there. Nice, nice. And I like this. Okay, so what do we have over here? Well, so this is also cool racing here. Got another GR86. Another 
And here we've got the Corolla, this is the state. And this is the sport, so this is the badge you'll see on the Corollas in Japan. So it's got the C, it doesn't show the Toyota. And they haven't got their hands on a, a GR yet. Actually, I don't know if there's any on the road. It's probably exactly the same as the Nissan Z. People are ordering them, but no one can get their hands on one. <laughs> oh yes, 300. We've seen the 500 earlier. Suzuki Jimny Step Wagon Check this That's wild, I've never seen that before How the food opens like this and in the right trim, and the standard cars, these do look really, really cool. Check that. Out. That's insane. A lot of money has gone into this car. That is insane. Wide body, check the diffuser. Really aggressive styling. Interior, custom everything. That is insane. Really insane. And what do we have over here? Apart from a lot of people, <laughs> we've got an 86 here, it's for sale. Check that. It's really, really cool. Let's see there. Two JC. I've seen a few of these cars with that engine. I guess it would be awesome to to drive that. People carriers here. Check this Corvette. The paint is so good. It's really last run of cars in this hall. So this is a new Toyota Crown. I quite like this. 
えおいおい反応してるあ一応こういうメーカーあっここなんか車しか話してないですけどあ一応一応カタログ持ってってください Pretty cool. Less boxy. And another GR86. Pretty cool. And here we have. Another crown. Custom interior. That seems to be the theme in these stalls, but check this. Solar. We have two JC. It says here as well, 600 horsepower. That's pretty cool. Really cool. So, last few cars over here. We've got a couple of original Fairly Disease. So, this stall is Star Road. Both of them with over fenders, but this one with carbon, carbon spoiler, same color. Check those wheels, tires. So this here, the grill makes it look a little bit like the new version. This whole kit at the front. So that's the original. That's how it normally would be. And then when you add that type of grill on, you can really see this in the new one. UK got some of the best Ford cars. Loads of classic Escorts. My favourite being the RS Cosworth on the Mark IV. But the Mark III also has some epic RS Turbo. Then you've got the Fiesta. Which also had a few classic versions released in the UK and this is a uh, sunny trying to get close to it because there's a lot of people check this that's insane really insane complete rebuild okay so that is it for these halls so here we did the first section we did eight and seven and here we did six down to four so we should have three sections to go so I'll see you in the next hall.